Hey there, Nick Jatakis here. In this video, we're going to go over some features of Git diff, such as being able to diff files and directories outside of a Git repo, as well as be able to see individual character differences instead of full lines, which can be handy from time to time. So we're going to be running some Git diff commands like this, so you will need to have the Git client installed. And by the way, I don't know about you, but when I run the regular diff command, I almost always use unified dash dash color mode, which is basically what Git diff gives us behind the scenes, like out of the box. And uh, if you are using my dot files, I do have uh, an alias set up for diff that will actually do that uh, by default you can see is dash u instead of dash dash unified but same thing also heads up you know this regular diff command like not the get diff command it works a little bit different on the GNU version of diff versus OpenBSD. so if you're on mac os then your diff command may work a little bit differently you would need to install the GNU version of diff but again we're going to be using get diff which will work the same on all operating systems here uh, which is pretty nice so with that said you know let's go and check out this directory here it is not a get repo it has a couple of different directories a couple of different files i set a few things up here that we can diff and try out. So let's just start by diffing two of the files here. Let's say, you know, file number one in directory A and B. And then, uh, yeah, let's see where we go. So we can do to get diff dash dash no index here. And then we can just pop in two different paths that we want to diff. In this case, they can either be files or directories. So let's put in file one in directory A. And then we'll also do the same thing for a directory B. So here we can see get diff is going to give us a unified color mode by default here. You know, each diff is on its own line here. And we can also see they're colored up. And the difference is here, you know, just the, the word one, one of them has a lowercase o, the other one has a capital O. And then also, if you just want to not see that get paged, you can always, always do get pager like this. And then now we run the command again. It is just going to print it out to standard out, which is pretty nice. But yeah, let's say now that we want to do the same thing, but we want to do it on the actual directory. So the good news is not much changes. We can just put in the actual directories here, A and B. It is going to recursively go through all of them and show us the results here. Here we can see, you know, same pattern, two with a lowercase versus uppercase two, uh, T there. And then in this case, the B directory has a three file like this, but the A directory does not. So there's nothing there to show a diff because it doesn't exist. So, you know, just a reminder here is a tree view of the directory structure of the little thing I set up. You know, there's a third file in B, but it didn't exist in A. So we just demonstrated a couple different things there, right? We can do a git diff on files and directories outside of a git repo. You know, we did it this way like this, but we can actually get a little bit more convenient. So right now we are not in a git repo and these directories that we're diffing files on, they're also not tracked by git. So we can technically just remove all these flags and just do a git diff and it is going to work, which is pretty nice. Also, this works uh, even if you're inside of a git repo, as long as the paths that you're diffing are not tracked by git. For example, if I go to I don't know, Plutos's directory here, because I'm going to show an example here as well, like the practicalities of doing character differences here. Uh, but in this case, we are in a Git, uh, an actual Git repo here. You know, of course, we can't just reference uh, folder or files, you know, A1B1, because they don't exist relative to here. But if I, if I put in this whole entire directory path here, and I think it was here, and then we'll say A1, and then also this is going to be source tutorials. Um, we don't get autocomplete, unfortunately, here. Uh, then we do get diff B1. There we go. I think that's all set up correctly. So here we can just do a get diff, and it is going to work the same here. You know, things expand out to my home directory, et cetera, here with the tilde. But uh, yeah, this just demonstrates that we're actually in a get repo, tracked by git, but we're still able to diff things in a different directory here without putting the no index flag, which is pretty cool. Although if I'm writing some scripts, then I typically will put in the no index flag just to be a little bit more explicit, and that's actually what's happening here. So I don't know, before I show the example, the practical one, let's just go back to the other directory here and just do the character character diffing on the example that we've seen so far. So going back to here, uh, you know, we're just diffing a couple of different files here. We can see the diffs, but you know, we just changed one character, but it's showing us like the entire line changed here. You know, we, we, this one's been removed, this one's been added. What if we just want to get just the difference of, of the character, like O versus capital O? So git diff makes this quite easy. And this is like not a limitation of git, I guess, but like I couldn't find out a way to do that pretty easily. So uh, let's just go with uh, color words. And then we can say color words. And then we'll just say dot and let's just run it to see how it looks and then we'll go off and, and actually see how things work here so pretty cool we can see in this case the o is red because it's not there or it is that in the a version and that the o is capital here in the b version so we can see you know just the, the character differences here which is pretty nice and you'll see in a more practical example of why that was useful but yeah just breaking down how this works we're configuring the git diff command to treat any character as a word. So in this case, any character would be like whatever, you know, like any characters that are different are going to end up being seen as air quote words, and then they're going to be, you know, colored up at, in the get diff output here, which is pretty cool. So if I go back to that other directory I was in here, the Plutos directory, um, we can actually take a look here at a script that I wrote to update versions of Plutos automatically for you. It's going to basically migrate your profile file. 
But uh, I don't want to get too deep in the woods here, but it uses get diff with uh, character differences to show you what your new pro profile looks like in a temp directory before actually giving you the option to even copy it to your real profile file. It is in the upgrades folder. So it is going to be this one file I have here. And all I need to do is pass it in uh, a directory where I have one of my profiles. This is a throwaway one for basically uh, an old version of Plutus before we upgraded to version 0.7. Uh, In any case, though, here is really the takeaway of the video. Um, it is running a, a git diff behind the scenes, and it is going to diff two different files. It basically creates a new one and then diffs the old versus the new. And it's doing character differences here to show you exactly what changed. So in this case, it's basically an auto migrate tool that is going to add a new CSV column type field here called description. And then it's also going to add, you can see it's maybe a little hard to see on video, but you know, these are green commas here being added for all the different individual lines that we see here. So this script will, you know, auto update your profile, a copied version of it, not your real one, and show you a get diff of what changed. So you can eyeball that to make sure that things look good. And uh, if we actually take a look here at the script real fast, then we can see that it is just using uh, get diff here. It is using the more explicit no index flag here, but yeah, color where it's dot here, it's just diffing two files here and then there we go. Um, but yeah, maybe in another video, I can go over this update script or this concept of like what's changed with Plutos over the last couple of weeks here. That's the income and expense command line tracker that I wrote here. But in any case, you know, that's gonna wrap it up for this video here using a couple of neat little tricks with get diff. So let us know in the comments below if you've ever used uh, get diff this way or maybe some other tips and tricks, that'd be pretty cool to know about. With that said, you know, if you have any questions, let me best answer all of them. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up because it really does help a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video.